Good morning, everyone. Welcome to How to Book Cruises. My name is Krista Wiley. I am a double gold consultant here with Archer and Evolution Travel. Today, we're going to go over the ins and outs of booking with Carnival. Uh, I believe most of everyone is um, already registered with Carnival, so um, no need to go through those steps. Um, if you are watching this recording um, at a later time and you're not registered uh, with Carnival, uh, please make sure to go into your travel cafe and get registered and make sure that you follow those instructions thoroughly, uh, just so that way you know um, exactly how to fill that out. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, I've already pulled up the website so uh, that I, you guys, honestly, most of you that have been to my training know that I save everything in suppliers and it's just like a list. So I don't have to remember my passwords and logins and websites and whatever. So um, here we are on um, the GoCCL website, save password. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now, I, um, I employ you all to actually go through here once you guys are getting, uh, once you guys get registered, just go through here and, and click on buttons. Um, I think that one thing that happens with vendors is people are afraid of getting onto, um, onto these vendors and they're afraid of pushing buttons. They're afraid that they're going to do something wrong. Um, and, and you're not, honestly, you're not going to. I mean, even if you accidentally booked a cruise, uh, you <laughs> honestly, you're not going to, you're not going to screw anything up. So um, you can always have it deleted. You can always have it canceled. <coughs> um, so anyways, you guys can go through here. There's marketing tools, um, stuff for booked clients. There's different trainings, virtual ship tours, podcasts, virtual events. Um, you can do, there's all kinds of stuff. Be the hero program, uh, virtual cruise party, finance. You guys can learn about financing, um, powered by uplift. Um, and then there's the agent rewards, which is travel agent rewards program, advisory committee, excellence awards, an award-winning cruise line. You also have your guys' training, the learn and earn. So just go through here and just kind of get familiar with all the things that um, GoCCL has for us. So what we're going to do is go ahead and look um, at how to book a cruise. Just the very basics, you guys. Um, we we want to make sure that we understand the foundation and the basics of um, booking a cruise. So nothing elaborate. We're not talking multiple cabins. We're not talking big groups. We're not talking gap points. We're not talking any of that. We're just talking simply how to book one um, cabin and really understanding um, how those different cabins look and whatnot. So uh, go ahead and um, so they popped this up, which is kind of cool. I don't know how, if any of you guys have actually took part in the um, travel agent uh, rates. Did any of you guys uh, book, book that cruise? I did, no, I wish, sure did. Yes, you did, Christina. All right, you guys, well, it says here, receive exclusive travel advisor rates when you book by September 7th. Booking window is August 31st to September 7th. Sailings are in September 2021. Um, so this is something that came out new today. Um, they before this, there there was another travel agent travel advisor rates or deal. So this looks like it's a new one that just came out today. Um, so that's super cool. Deborah, I do that too. I, I actually have to look because um so Deborah said she had better deal from her casino. Um, it's a great point to bring up. Um, so with a lot of cruise lines that have casinos on their ships, um, as you gamble, it's it's kind of similar to like a land casino. Um, you get points at the casino, and as you and you can grow tiers there as well. Um, so sometimes you guys might have a client that reaches out and says, "I have a casino deal." It's yada yada yada. Um, that is really a thing, um, and Carnival is really good about giving out free staterooms. Um, Deborah, did you get the like, it was like upgrade to a balcony, $200 down, $200 free spending money or whatever? Because that's, I think that's the one that we got with the casino. But you guys, there, there are casino rates out there. Um, 
just just FYI. Um, and we can book them for them. They just, we have to call it in. Um, so anyways, so what you're gonna do is go to booking an individual stateroom. And then you guys, just like any other cruise line, you're gonna come through here and you're gonna answer questions. Was it, the only thing that's different is with um, Carnival, they do um, military, interline, and senior. Those are the only three discounts that they give. Um, I know like Royal Caribbean, they also give um, PD first responder um, discounts as well. Um, so select if it's any of those three. Um, I always use us as an example because I use our VIFP number because I want you guys to see um, how that pulls up some things as well. For those of you that don't know what VIFP stands for, uh, VIFP is very important fun person. Uh, the question was asked, what does interline mean? Um, interline is um, us and like flight attendants. Um, but you have to be very careful with travel, like travel agent and interline, um, but mostly interline. And, and I, I had the same question. So I actually asked a um, uh, one of our travel agents who is a flight attendant. And she said, uh, that's how, like, cause she gets interline discounts in other places. So it started off with that, um, but our discount, that cruise that you got, Christina, was an interline, like that's how they put it in was as an interline discount. Um, so travel agents, pilots, um, flight attendant, you know, those types of people, mostly people are going to know if they have an interline discount. But it's weird because I think we only fall under interline in some cases. So um, anyways, all right, you guys, over here on the left-hand side, um, you can uh, change your guests. I always like to go with four because that's going to give the biggest room of um, any of the cat. I mean, I just for mock booking wise and show you guys that. Whose number is, uh, whose number is this BIFP? It's my husband's. So don't copy it down. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's my husband's. I use his all the time. <laughs> um, so anyway, so there's four. Um, there are, uh, I put four guests. There's a California, uh, you know, we live in California. Um, but what's nice over here on the, the right search bar, you guys can actually put in people's names and you can search for them. So uh, you know, Benjamin Wiley. The reason I don't do mine is because I have a really long first name um, and it doesn't like to pull it up for mine. Um, so I use his all the time. Um, so you just go ahead. So if your client's like, oh, I know that I, I you know, you ask them, this is how the conversation is going to go. Have you ever cruised with Carnival Cruise Line before? And they say, yes, I have. And you ask them, okay, do you know your, your membership ID or your rewards program ID? I usually don't call it, do you know your VIFP number? Because they're probably going to look at you like you're crazy. Um, and so you ask them, you know, have you ever cruised with them before? Do you know your number? And they'll, they, some people may, some people may not. Um, not everyone's crazy where I memorized mine for Royal Caribbean. Um, but they, um, you know, so if they don't know it, no big deal. Okay, uh, let me just get your, your first and last name, your legal first and last name. Um, and your date of birth, and you guys can look it up. And what this does, it will make sure, it will pull up any deals that he has on that number. So um, it's gonna go ahead and auto-populate the state, the VIFP um, level, and you're gonna add the number. Now, if you have somebody say, you know, you have four people and it's going to be four adults. Maybe somebody else has a different VIFP number. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, again, you can look up someone else. Let's see if I can pull up another one. Right. So you guys can just add in all these different, um, you know, obviously for the same cabin. 
So then um, you can also enter the sailing date range because when I did this, I didn't input anything. So let's go ahead and say we want to go, uh, when do we want to go on a cruise, guys? Um, September of next year? Let's look at September of next year. Uh, and then ship, you don't really care. Maybe you don't know the ships. Maybe your clients are like, I don't care what ship. Um, or maybe they want to go on um, a newer ship and you guys don't know what the newer ships are, you can simply Google um, newest top five newest ships. I do this a lot. I got to figure out what I want to type. Carnival's newest ships. It's probably going to give me... All right, so here you go. It's going to give you a list of their newest ships. So the Mardi Gras, then the Vista, Horizon, Panorama, um, Panorama, and Breeze. So those are going to be your top five. Now these I know are like super new. I don't know like I don't know the level or like what's on these ones. But you guys, if they're like I really want to go on a brand new ship or something that's um, fairly new, has the Sky Coast or something like that, then uh, you could always put in um, these ships. So we're going to go ahead and put. Panorama, Horizon, uh, let's see, where is the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, and the other one was the Vista. I don't know why the Vista always throws me off. I feel like it's an old name. All right, so we went ahead and put those four cruise ships in. They want something new. Um, depart from, obviously, because we put those cruise ships in and we put in the date, it's already going to give us the locations that they come out of. We don't really care where we depart from, but they do want to take a six to nine, which is fine because that's all those dudes, all those cruise ships um, do is a six to nine. So go ahead and we're going to apply those filters because I did change some things over here. I did change this information up here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to see what kind of cruises are available. So you have the Carnival Horizon. Uh, so you can also change up your store by, you know, which departs first, or maybe they, they're like, I don't care. I just want to go on the cheapest one possible, but you guys can change this, you know, departure port A to Z, longest to shortest, shortest to longest, you know, maybe they're like, nope, I absolutely want to do an eight day. So there's no point looking at six days, right? If they want to do an eight day, put it up at the top. So you have leaving out of Miami, Florida on the Carnival Horizon. Um, and it will give you the different um, balconies and their prices. Now, you guys, I tell people all the time, don't get hooked on these prices right here, because as the discounts um, get applied, um, these prices, you're going to see that prices are going to change. So I've had agents that are like, oh, OK, I got to the screen. They're like, oh, it's going to be six hundred and seventeen dollars per person. Don't price off of this. You have to go all the way through the booking to get the accurate price. So let's. Uh, cruise down here. You can see uh, Horizon, Horizon. Uh, let's see, uh, Mardi Gras uh, has a seven day Eastern Caribbean. Uh, you know, maybe your client's like, well, I absolutely want to go to Turks and Caicos, right? So then, um, you know, now you can see like this one goes to Grand Turk. So this is going to be you know, they don't really care about anything else, but they absolutely want to go to Grand Turk. So obviously this one is uh, the Eastern Caribbean is going to have that on there. Whereas like the Southern Caribbean uh, isn't going to have that on there. <laughs> it's going to have Aruba, Curacao, La Roma, Mona, and uh, Amber Cove. So, all right, let's go ahead and go with the Mardi Gras. So we're going to go ahead and select the sailing for Mardi Gras. And then you guys, this is where all of the deals come in, which is why I went ahead and I put in those, um, I went ahead and put in those VIF key numbers because we wanna get the most um, deals possible and then we're gonna select, right? We're gonna choose which one we want. Now you guys, you're not gonna probably understand every single discount there is, um, but you can select on the details and it will explain the detail or the discount to you. So you guys can scroll down. Usually what I do, to be honest, guys, is I'll look for the cheap. Obviously, I'm going to do a balcony. I don't ever do anything less than a balcony. 
uh, I do have a sensitivity to motion sickness. And so I like that fresh air and being able to see the ocean. Um, and to me, it's not a whole lot more expensive, but you, uh, in my opinion, you are getting a lot more um, for what you're paying for. Um, so what I do is I usually scroll down the balcony and I find which balcony is the cheapest. So 527, 509, 509. Okay, so now we have plan now, sale later, or fun for you exclusive VIFP offer. So if you look at the offer, this offer is capacity controlled and available for a limited time only. Onboard credit is non-refundable. Promotional deposit, minimum purchase of category 1A is required. Promotion is available for Kevin. Anyways, you guys can read through here and you guys can see all the different promotions. Now, maybe somebody said, oh, but I really want to have, you know, I really want Wi-Fi or they really want whatever. Then obviously you're going to see the balcony is more expensive, but Wi-Fi is included. You know, maybe they made mention that they were going to want, um, they were going to want the drink package. Now, I don't see one here, but every once in a while, they do have a Cheers to You program, um, and that will be um, where drinks are included. So you guys can absolutely go through here. Um, this is a popular one that I do early saver, um, plus reduced deposit, plus onboard credit. Um, but just go through here, rate code, no upgrades apply, onboard credit may apply. And then you guys are always able to compare them as well if you guys want to. So let's just say fun for you exclusive VIP. So we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go ahead and click on the balcony and hit continue. And then you guys are gonna be given all of the different balcony categories. Now, understanding the number and letter I, I mean, even in all of my time of cruising, I still can't, I, I, I can't tell you what exactly the number in the, and the letter means, but they are the different categories. So it's how the cruise, um, the cruise ship categorizes their cabins. Um, and so here you're going to see there's an extended balcony. Um, these are just, these are just going to be in different locations. So maybe it's going to like, this one is deck 12 and 14. This one's deck 11 and 12 but then some might be more midship, some more might be more aft. <clears throat> so they, um, yes, that's what I was, that's what I was saying, Deborah. So they, um, but you'll see like as the, but, but I, what I was more meaning is like eight doesn't, you know, some people want to say like eight means on the eighth deck and it, and it doesn't, but it's the different categories. And you guys can see obviously with the prices, um, that the cheaper it is, you guys can tell it's probably going to be either a smaller, um, a little bit smaller, or it's going to be, um, it's going to be in a, in a less um, liked area of the ship. As you get farther up, it's going to be in the more desirable locations, maybe an extended balcony. Um, but what I was meaning is that there's no rhyme or reason to what G stands for. There's, that's the question that I get asked a lot is what does the G stand for? And it doesn't really stand for anything. It's just more money, better category. <laughs> so um, you guys can see here Lido deck um, that they're on. Now you guys personally, and I know that this is probably a personal thing, um, but I really enjoy mid-class as low as you can go to the ship, um, as low as you can get on the ship. Now there are some people that like to be super close up to the action. They want to be able to only go um, up one or whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and select on, uh, we're gonna just go ahead and select extended balcony. Yes, Lido is a deck. <coughs> so some cruise lines actually name their decks. Some of them um, just have numbers. Some of them have numbers and um, names. So as you guys go through here, you're going to see <coughs> in the middle, this is going to be, obviously we picked the higher category. So it's going to be in the most desirable of locations. So you guys can cruise through here. This is on deck 15. There's a cabin here. If you go on deck 14, you can see there's a few more cabins. If you go on to deck 12, nothing available. You guys can see cruises are already filling up. This is for next year. It's crazy. 
Um, so also you guys be mindful when you guys are picking cabins, um, where the elevator is, um, of where the elevator and the stairs are. Um, so I will get to those questions in just a moment because you can actually select, um, Deborah, you can actually select um, accessible rooms as well. Um, but you guys can filter that. Um, most cruise lines will allow you to book at handicap accessible cabins right on the portal. Uh, so right here, you can select stateroom. See right here, it says say the number, but most cruise lines, they do allow you to book them straight, um, like just here on the portal. So you're gonna go ahead and pick deck 15, stateroom preferences, no preferences or connecting staterooms. So we're gonna go ahead and select this room. And then just go ahead and fill out the information. Now you guys, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back and I actually wanna show you guys, if you guys are building a quote, how you guys can do that. So if you went ahead right here, where's this balcony, extended balcony, you're gonna click quick quote. And then um, what I always do when I'm building my quotes for my clients, I always add vacation protection and gratuities. That way when I'm giving them the quote, I can actually show them this is the price with gratuities and protection included because you can always remove it. I like to give my clients the top price and then tell them, you know, we're able to remove um, these things for you if you would like. So go ahead and add the uh, vacation protection and add the gratuities on board. Now, I like to pack my um, itineraries. I like to pack my itineraries. Um, that way they know that the top, but I also like it for them to pay as much as possible before they leave. Um, so that way uh, you don't have to, you know, they're not having to pay their gratuities once they're on the ship. You know, I try to get all the excursions booked before they leave. So really when they get on the cruise ship, all they have to do is pay for um, the, you know, the thing, the, the miscellaneous things that they want to purchase, the t-shirts, the shot glasses, the you know, maybe they like the casino or something like that. So you guys can see here for guest, um, for four guests, including vacation package and gratuities, $3,400. Now you guys, I'm going to tell you that is amazing um, for a seven or an eight day cruise. What did we go with? Seven day, seven, um, a seven day cruise on a brand new ship for four people in a balcony room, 3,500 bucks. I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, I don't know how many have to go book this cruise. No, I'm not gonna do it. But um, I think that's a great, great deal, especially on the Mardi Gras. So then it's gonna go ahead and show you down here the information. It's gonna say the cruise rate. It's gonna tell you the cruise rate. And then it's going to tell you um, the total amount. Uh, your commission is $292.40. The deposit is $712, and the final payment, um, again, this is that total amount um, for you. The promotional onboard credit is also $200, so they're going to get that $200 to spend on board. Now, you guys, there is an agent view and a guest view, so when you click on guest view, it's going to show you all of the ports that it's going to. It's going to show you the amounts that are on here. The thing that it has removed is the commission. That way it doesn't show the commission. It's going to show you the information about the rates. That way your clients can see that information. And then you're able to share the quote straight here from the website. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Some people, they decide that they don't want to send all of that information. So what they'll do is they'll just copy and paste um, stuff into an email and they'll email it from their uh, email. I know some people prefer not giving all of the information. Some people like giving all the info. Uh, however you like to run your business, that's completely up to you. But there is this option in the back. So pretty simple, pretty simple to do, um, you know, just one state um, state room. Um, it's literally just following along. I think where um, it gets a little bit, um, where it gets a little bit tricky is when, um, you know, these 
these are obviously I, you know, I knew what, you know, I'm not having to select different cruises, you know, somebody, um, you know, gets a little bit more interesting when you're like, well, I don't know exactly what date and I want the cheapest cruise and I'm not really sure where I go and how. And so that's where it, it takes a little bit more time. But in general, um, booking, <coughs> booking a cruise is pretty simple. 